Hi, I'm Holly Henson. Welcome back to Real Florida Outdoors. Welcome back. Still here at Hard Labor Shooting Sports in Chipley, Florida, second annual Possum Classic 3D Archery Tournament. Here right now with Dennis McKinney. Uh, Dennis, one of the co-owners of uh, Bullets and Bones, is that correct? Well, I sort of kind of, I'm just kind of at the bottom of it. Well, so you get to do what everybody else doesn't want to do, maybe. Well, that and uh, I get to shoot for free. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a winner right yeah. there. Well, uh, as, as I was talking to Scott, um, we've got a, it looks like almost a full house here today. Got a great right, turnout right. for the second annual. Got a good turnout annual. today. You were, we were talking uh, earlier in the pre-show about the popularity of 3D archery. I pointed out when we were talking to Scott that it seems to be one of the fastest growing outdoor sports right now. You were pointing out that it's making a comeback. Talk about that. It's, it's, it's making a comeback. I just started, I got back into it about three years ago and uh, I hadn't quite been in it to, for about 20 years. But when I got back into it, I wanted to get back in with all the new stuff that they got. But the stuff that they've got anymore, you take you take a, like we, we sell the Matthews and shoot the Matthews. And uh, with what the equipment and stuff they got anymore, a bow is almost like shooting a rifle. You can shoot at just up to 60, 70 yards with it. And the bows years ago, if you were shooting 30 yards, you were shooting real, real good. But uh, at this day and age, they've got the new technology out and got new stuff coming out every year. Now, are you also a hunter or just a target yes, shooter? Yes, sir. I am mostly a deer hunter. Okay. I, I, I shoot these, these tournaments and stuff just to stay in practice. And I think that's the case for some people, but we also meet some people that just shoot targets. Yeah. Uh, I'm not just into target shooting. In fact, this one and one more tournament's probably be my last one. Scott's going to have another one at the uh, end of next month at, at Bullets and Bones, and uh, that'll probably be my last tournament, and then I'll be standing in the tree stand. Yeah, nothing like a piece of backstrap and a homemade biscuit. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I done, I done real good last year. I killed, I killed three with a bow last year, and this year I think I'm just a little bit better with my bow this year than I have been, and uh, next year I'm going to go, I'm going to step up and buy another new bow. Now, do we see that same uh, popularity rise in hunting that we do with 3D archery due to the fact that we do have the new technology and, it, and people can actually be better because of the equipment? Yes, sir. Uh, the, the, new, the new equipment stuff is coming out that uh, people can shoot better. They can figure, well, they are better archers, so they can hunt. A lot of people years ago, they frowned on the archery hunting because they wounded a lot of animals and they didn't find them. With the equipment stuff they got now, they can put their air where they want to. They're, well, the, with the broadheads and stuff they've got out anymore, it's not just wounding an animal. It's, it's, it's taking an animal down. Well, and that makes total sense. And do we see a change in regulation in bow hunting because of that new technology? No, it's, it's still pretty much the same as it always was. I know they come out last year, and uh, they come out that they legalized crossbow, which... People might not like me for saying it, but uh, for the people that was disabled and not being able to use a regular bow, that was fine with me. But everybody going to the crossbow, I, I don't see why they legalized it. And it's interesting that um, it seems like, in, the, in this case, deer hunting, hunting regulations seem to be more relaxed, where fishing regulations seem to be getting more stringent. Well, the bow hunting may be getting the same way. I know the fishing, I, that's the only reason I quit fishing, because you had to have a, a Georgia law book to be able to find out what fish you could keep. But uh, archer season, uh, you can shoot anything but spotted fawns. Well, um, we appreciate you guys being a sponsor out here. Um, you guys got here uh, 
before some of the crowd did. They're still coming in, so yeah. we're we're pretty optimistic about the success of this yeah. individual event. I think I think this is going to be a real good shoot. If uh, it's going to be a nice day, and uh, everybody just just proud to be able to get out. And like I say, it's before archery season opens, deer season opens, and uh, I think everybody be out here to have a good time. So this is probably a good time of year to have this. Yes, event. sir. It is. Yes, sir. It is. Well, Dennis, again, thanks for being a sponsor out here. Thanks for participating, for being with us today. And we look forward to talking to you again in the future. All right. Appreciate it. Here with Dennis McKinney at the second annual Possum Classic 3D Archery Tournament here at Hard Labor Shooting Sports in Chipley, Florida, right here in the middle of what we call the real Florida. We'll be right back.